National Under-20 coach Tabo Sinong has been putting his charges through their paces at the Dobsonville Stadium in Soweto, ahead of what is his talented squad's biggest challenge yet. The 36-year-old believes the hard work is paying off and his team is focused on taking on the best teams on the continent. We need to reduce the number of mistakes. We need to make sure we don't concede, you know, we lock the game. Uh, we keep the ball very well in the right areas, but uh, we still have another 12 days just to make sure that we function uh, some of the aspects of our game so that we have a ready team come the tournament starts. The team is without a handful of overseas-based players and Sinong is hopeful that they'll be released by their clubs before the competition, but is confident his side possess the quality for a successful campaign. I think the confidence in the final third, confidence to scoring goals, slowly coming in the team. And, uh, but as we say, we just need to concentrate. These are youngsters, they are inconsistent. Tomorrow they play well, the following day they play bad. So we just need to always put them in the right performance zone. Sinong says that qualifying for the World Cup is the objective for his young team, but the Bafana Bafana assistant coach is under no illusions ahead of the AFCON tournament. It will be very good to qualify for the World Cup and uh, that is our main goal, that is what we are looking for and we have to work hard. I mean, uh, Group B, tough, two West African countries, Senegal, Cameroon, you know, Sudan, Central African team, that elim eliminated Nigeria, so it's not very easy. Qualification for the World Cup is a massive incentive for Tabo Sinong's charges. They know a top four finish in Zambia will ensure they line up against world football's elite in just a few months' time. But first, Amajita need to focus on the task at hand and get through the tournament unscathed in order to secure passage to the football showpiece in May. CS Duplessis, CGTN, Soweto.